How to capture sound without a boom operator or sound mixer. We've just set up our Kupo 2 riser C stand. We have a few options to avoid scraping the floor. You can easily place your gear on top of Harbor Freight moving blankets, but it could become a tripping hazard. You could also cover the legs with those unwanted baby socks. Or if you want something a bit more professional and cushy, Kupo stand leg protectors come in a variety of colors. For safety, you also need a sandbag placed on the tallest leg, ensuring it doesn't touch the ground. Starting from the end of the recording chain, we have a Zoom H6 recorder receiving its input via XLR and pushing phantom power to the microphone. I used the slick clamp head 38 to mount the H6 to the C-stand and spin it towards me to keep an eye on levels. On the H6, I've attached a Zoom XY adapter for ambient noise and it has its own channel. The Rode Micro telescoping boom pole is held by a newer support holder affixed to a Matthews head. These fork styles holders can break, but it'll be fine with the Rode as it's exceptionally lightweight. The Rode NTG3B is suspended in place by an Ore DUSM1 universal shock mount mount with a moving blanket lining the floor serving as a sound blanket and reducing echo. I've wrapped the GLS Audio Professional XLR cable around the boom pole as it's not internally wired, then secured it with storehouse hook and loop straps. You could also use Rode's boom pole clips, but the pole needs to have enough thickness or they will dangle. Hopefully this setup helps other solo or aspiring filmmakers to be the artist you were born to be.